so this was a case that that um, that I had personally, uh, and we were able to to report on how we use the extracellular matrix or the sub Q envelope um, and the novel suture orientation to stabilize the SIC generated to the chest wall. So you can see here, there's two diagrams on the left in diagram A. The subcutaneous ICD comes with a header that has two uh, essentially holes, if you will, which are traditional anchoring sutures. So these traditional anchoring sutures enable one to suture the device superiorly to the muscle. What it doesn't have, unfortunately, is traditional anchoring sutures on the inferior portion. And what that may lead to is a tilt of the can internally and physiologically where uh, the vector orientation may change. What we were able to do is by using the extracellular matrix, form four suture anchoring points and essentially buttress the, the device to the muscle and um, essentially stabilize the, the generator and prevent the generator from uh, moving in an orientation that would not be favorable for sensing. This is an example of a patient that came in. You can see here how the, the superior portion of the device became loose and the inferior portion was uh, sort of flapping askew. And this patient, unfortunately, um, failed defibrillation and received an inappropriate shock. But what we're able to do, and, and we call this protect your vector, is to essentially anchor the device itself with the extracellular matrix, which one, stabilizes the device to the, to the wall, and then two, stabilizes that vector, which enables the device to effectively defibrillate the patient around the center of mass of the left ventricle, preserving the primary and secondary vectors and sensing.